Welcome to Living by Chemistry. I'm Angie Stacy, author of the curriculum. I very much appreciate having the opportunity to share a brief overview of the curriculum with you. It features daily interactive lessons that are phenomenon-based with an emphasis on conceptual understanding and provides a foundation for you to engage students every day in inquiry in your classroom. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I've taught general chemistry at the University of California at Berkeley for many years. And through those experiences, I discovered that students were memorizing things that were said in the lecture without much understanding. Um, in particular, I asked them about breaking a bond. Is energy required or released? Now, at the beginning of the semester, it was a 50-50 guess. Now, you might think that this is an indictment on their preparation coming out of high school chemistry courses, but wait for it. By the end of the semester, the majority got it wrong. They were more likely to say that energy is released, which is the opposite of what is true. And that led me to think more deeply about how best to help students understand the concepts um, that we are trying to teach them in chemistry more deeply. Now, I thought about studying the university population, but I realized that it might be better, because the classes are smaller, of going into high schools to begin my research on this. I obtained a grant from the National Science Foundation, and the curriculum that has resulted, called Living by Chemistry, was tested and revised in partnership with high school teachers and students. The Living by Chemistry curriculum is divided into six phenomenon-based units to capture student interest. The units are alchemy, smells, atmosphere, toxins, fire, and sustainability. In the third column, you can see how the core ideas are divided and scaffolded. And the middle column tells you what the driving question is for the unit. As an example, the driving question for the smells unit is how does the nose know? And students have the opportunity to learn about the structure of molecules and how that structure affects the way the molecules smell. There are 126 45-minute daily lessons that can be used also in pairs for block schedules. The lessons follow a design that begins with a chem catalyst in which the students are offered a phenomenon-based question to spark their interest. Following the chem catalyst, the students engage in an activity in practices of science, such as a lab, demonstration, activity, classwork, computer simulation. That leads to the making sense discussion in which you can encourage the students to use scientific concepts to explain their data and observations. And finally, there's a check-in in which we hope all students are able to demonstrate their understanding. When the students get home that evening, they can read about the lesson in three to four pages in the student textbook, as shown here, and you can assign the homework problems from that textbook. Now, what I'm showing here is actually the teacher wraparound edition, which includes the student textbook, plus instructions for how to carry out all the activities so that you have a strong foundation for doing so. Now, here are two examples of activities. This one shows element cards for magnesium and calcium. The students in the alchemy unit in the periodic table lesson are given a series of 33 cards, and in groups of four, they sort those cards and create their own periodic table and are able to use the cards to look for patterns in the properties of the elements. In the smells unit, students at the start of the unit are given five vials to smell, and they characterize those smells as minty, fishy, or sweet. And then they're given molecular formulas to see what patterns might emerge. For example, the molecule has nitrogen, has a fishy odor. The curriculum meets state and national standards we use relatable phenomena to capture the student's interest. The core ideas are built by observations, finding patterns, writing rules, and applying ideas to new situations. Cross-cutting concepts are throughout the curriculum, making links to biology, physics, earth science, and engineering. 
And science practices help students see science as a set of useful thinking skills rather than merely memorizing a collection of facts. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief video, and I hope that the Living by Chemistry curriculum will provide a foundation for you to have a great experience teaching chemistry. Thanks so much for listening.